Here's a song that can skyrocket your blues and rock guitar playing. You can start playing just a simple version if you're a beginner, or you can also ramp it all the way up to a super advanced level by diving into all the different riffs and licks. I'm gonna break it down for you step by step in this Sweet Home Alabama guitar lesson. Now this is actually one of the first songs that I ever learned. I learned just a basic version of playing it and I'm gonna dive into how you can do that as well as the advanced licks. Let's get started. So the opening lick sounds like this. <laughs> All right, so the first chord is D5, and this looks like a D chord here, but we're not gonna play the first string. So we'll play the open fourth string, second fret on the third string, and then third fret on the second string. Just those three notes there. And then we'll move to a C sus two chord, which is the third fret on the fifth string, open D, open G, and then the third fret on the second string. So you'll notice that I'm not playing like a full chord like this, I'm just grabbing a couple notes out of those bigger parent chords. And then I'm gonna move this finger just up one string for the G chord. So I've got the third fret of the low E, muting the A string, open D, open G, and the third fret on the B string. So those are the three chords. D5, C sus2, G. Now what we're gonna do is we're gonna do this cool thing where we palm mute the bass notes, but then let the higher strings ring through. So we'll play the open fourth string twice with a palm mute, and then we'll play the second string and the third string. So then play the open fourth string, then go to the third fret, we'll switch to this next chord here, C sus2, we'll play the third fret on the fifth string and go three, open three. So, again, palm muting there. Then play the second string, then the fourth string. So the first measure is, Then go to G, and we'll do that same three open three. That's just using a palm mute there on the sixth string, then play the third string, then again. So, so, so far, one and two E and three E and a four. Got this really cool lick. And this is a great example of how you can play a riff off of a chord. So I think of this as the G chord here from, if you know your cage system, you have this pentatonic scale right here, the G shape on the pentatonic. And this is all that's going on here is just riffing off of that shape. So it's open fifth string, hammer to the second fret, open fourth string, second fret pull off. So. Then go back to the second fret on the fifth string, then skip up to second fret on the third string and do a pull off to open. So. All 16 notes of. Now there's a few ways you could finger it. Here I'm using my index to start. I just think of that kind of coming off the G, so I use my index there. And then second finger to do the skip up there to the third string. You could also use your middle and then skip up with the ring finger. So either that or that. Either way works, whichever is comfortable for you. So this first part, going D to C to G with the first riff goes like this. Then we're gonna restart back to D. 
Now, before we go any further, if you like this style of blues and rock guitar playing, and you wanna play riffs off chords and solo, just like what we're doing in this song, then you're gonna to wanna to grab my free blues scale PDF guide. And you can get this completely for free at the first link down below, or just go to johnmclennan.com slash blues scales, and you can grab that as my gift to you. So from there, we go back to the same thing. Again, we've got the D chord, D5, C sus2, that's the same thing, then G. Now the second time we're gonna go, we have a different lick. This goes open third string, then two pull off to zero, then play the open third string again, four pull off to zero, then play the open fourth string, and then bend up the fifth fret on the third string. Up a whole step. There it is slowly, so. In time. And you're right back to the D chord again. So backing up. So now I'm gonna put both of those riffs together. Here's what it sounds like. Then it goes back and we do the first riff again. Then the last time we go. wind it down here because we're going into the verse so we just play a simpler riff we go three zero three on the sixth string then open third string open third string again then a hammer open fifth string hammer to two fourth string third string just like this and again there's your g shape from cage right letting those notes ring over. Just sort of like a hammer on and then arpeggio picking. That's all that is, just coming right off that G chord. So the last time. So here's the intro all together. Three, four. Then we start with the verse, big wheels keep on turning. Now here we're playing the same progression, D, C, to G. In fact, that's 99% of the song. There's one other chord, but we'll get to that when it comes up. Here we're playing D, C, G, D for two beats, C for two beats, and then G for four beats. So the whole progression, we're in the key of D, and it's two bars long. When we get to the verse, the guitars sort of just bring it down a little bit and and let the vocal kind of take lead here. So what we're gonna play at this part is just. Just a simplified version of it. So we'll play the D to the C sus2, G, then again G. So we won't play all the fancy riffs and stuff. We'll just kind of let it simmer down a little bit, and the most embellishments you kind of hear are like simple little licks like that. Last one, so. Singing songs about the sad land. I miss Alabama once again, and I think it's a sin. Then we go like this. We go into this next figure here and this is a great example of just the cage system at work it's again that that G shape
but we're gonna follow the progression. So we're gonna go like D, down to C, down to G, but we'll play it like this. Okay, little chromatic lick. This walks up, seven, eight, nine, and then grab a double stop there on the fifth and, or the fourth and third strings. Then come back to the ninth fret on the fifth string. So, then drop down to the fifth fret, hammer to seven, then grab a double stop here, five and five on those same strings, the fourth and third strings, then play seven on the fifth string. So that's really like a D chord down to a C chord. Then we go down to G and go, just like the riff we played earlier. Open fifth string, hammer to two, D, G. Open D, open G. Then play the G string one last time, and then the G bass note on the third fret. So. so. Then the second time we have that little variation we end with. So you go. Then. Okay, so that's the open fifth string, hammer to two, open fourth string. So all together this little figure goes. chill. Then we play all of verse 2 again. Now at the end of verse 2, we go into the chorus where they sing Sweet Home Alabama. Now there's a signature riff that leads us in out of that verse progression. So we're playing the D to the C to the G and then we go this is the lick here. We play the open fifth string, hammer to two, then open D, open G, then two pull off to zero on the fourth string, and then open A, hammer to the second fret, and then I slide it up to five. So it goes. And that's coming off of that G chord, and then it's leading us into the chorus where we play a blues rhythm pattern that sounds like this. down to the main riff there. So we're still keeping the same progression, D, C, G, but we're gonna slide up into the fifth position, and I'm gonna grab a D power chord here. This is five on the fifth string, seven on the fourth string, and we'll go and play just like a blues shuffle pattern, right? Like, but the rhythm is one and two E and uh, then we'll go to C. Just drop it down two frets, do the same thing. That's two strums down, down, then add the pinky down, up. So. Then we go to a G power chord here, third fret and fifth fret. We're gonna play two down strums there, then a down up muted and then reach up to the seventh fret to get that blues rhythm with the pinky there. So one and two and uh, then this little lick here, open fifth string, hammer to two, then open fourth string, hammer pull, and then play the third fret on the fifth string and then it slides back to restart. So the G part goes 
high up, repeat. Okay, so the first time. That's the same. Then the second time you do this figure. Okay, that's a repetitive figure. We play the open fourth string, hammer to two, then the open third string. So it's one E and a two E and a three E and a four E and a one. And that last 16th note, you play the third fret and then slide back up. So. That's the first riff again. Then the last time you go. I love this part here. So this is the chord that I was mentioning. The other progression, this quick change here. We do D down to C, then we go G. Then you go to F to C, and the way I play it is like this. Starting on the fifth string, three, three, open, C, three, two, open, one. It's just a great change. And it sounds so good. Then you're right back into the main riff. So let me back up. I'm gonna play the entire chorus and we'll lead into it with, remember, coming out of the verse, we have that signature riff that kicks us into the chorus. Here's what it sounds like the last time coming out of the verse. Three, So those are the guitar parts that I would use to play Sweet Home Alabama. Now take your time with this. There's so many different licks and different variations, but practicing it is really gonna help you take your blues and your rock guitar playing to the next level. And to help you connect these scales and patterns so you can start improvising your own licks like this, grab my free blues scale PDF guide. Just go to johnmcclennan.com slash bluescales or you can click the first link down below and grab that as my gift to you. As always, thanks for watching, and for more Leonard Skinner, check out this video next.